Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's a girl city. Today's video is where I will do a rundown of my favorites and my not so favorite products of the first quarter of 2019. I decided to make this like a quarterly favorites thing rather than a monthly one because in that way I will not pressure myself to buy things just for the sake of it. I'm looking at the products in front of me and I would say I have quite a few to show you so without further ado, let's get started with the list. So the first thing that I want to show you is from this brand Ryre or Ryre and this is their pore tightening fresh toner and I switched this with my Song By Me Miracle Toner. Well, it claims to tighten your pores. I don't see that doing it, but I like how this product gets rid of my sebum. Feeling ko nung ginamit ko to, hindi na ako ganun ka oily skin. If you're looking for something for tightening, I don't think this is the one for you. But if you are oily skin and you want to get rid of that excess sebum, I think this does the job. So I recommend it for that. You might notice dito sa video na to, marami akong babanggitin as the Korea products. That's because they have sent a lot of new releases from their exclusive line. So I've tested them out and I will show you kung alin yung nag-work sa akin and alin yung mga hindi. The first thing that I really like is this Milk Peel Cream Mask. So basically, this is a cream mask that you use to get rid of your mga dead skin cells or whatnot. This smells amazing and hindi siya abrasive sa skin. Very gentle lang yung effect niya. Kapag ginagamit ko to at narinse ko na siya, parang refresh ulit yung balat ko. So, I really loved it for that. This one, I've already mentioned quite a lot of times already. Ito yung Althea Korea Petal Velvet Sunaway. Ito yung sura niya. This one has SPF 50 PA++++ and this also claims to have sebum control. Paired with this fresh tightening toner from Rire or Rire, I love the combination. Ito yung pakiramdam ko, tumulong talaga para maging less oily yung skin ko. Nung ito yung ginagamit ko continuously, itong dalawang to, napansin ko talaga at how they keep the sebum or the oil at bay. Sobrang ganda ng effect nila. Kahit ito lang, gustong gusto ko din siya. Kasi yung formula niya, liquidy, I used to hate wearing sunscreen or sunblock kasi sobrang sticky and icky ng feeling nila. The only thing that I don't like about this is the scent. Medyo obnoxious yung scent nito. Highly, highly, highly recommend that you guys use sunblock or sun protection wherever you go. Now we're done with my skincare favorites. Do naman tayo sa makeup. And of course, I'll start with a primer. And this one is the No Pore Glim Primer from Touch and Soul. If you're someone with enlarged pores and gusto mo yung magtatakip doon kapag nagme-makeup ka din, use this primer because it does the job. I really like this as well. Another complexion product that I want to talk about is the Flawless Creamy Concealer from Althea Korea. These concealers are just amazing for their price. Ang flawless talaga ng finish niya. It's very blendable and yung coverage, it can go from medium, buildable to full coverage at least in my opinion. And ang bango-bango pa niya. And I hope they will come up with like a better shade range kasi I have to mix two colors just to get my perfect shade. I thought this would only be available sa Thailand if I'm not mistaken. Pero nandito na pala siya sa Pilipinas. So make sure to check out your supermarket or Watsons. Pili ko nandun na siya. Nung unang hindi ko siya gusto kasi meron siya mga tiny specks of glitter sa kanya. And I felt weird using it at first. Kahit ilang oras ko na siyang suot, parang Arabian pa rin ang skin ko. So, ayan. Nagustuhan ko siya. And expensive. So, pwedeng-pwede sa mga baguettes or sa mga estudyante dyan. So, Fonts BB Cream, you guys. Next product would be Get the Pretty Started from Benefit. Ito yung picture niya. So, meron siya ng hula bronzer, California, and What's Up Highlighter. To be quite honest, I don't use the What's Up Highlighter kasi powder tone first do, tapos biglang naging cream. It just doesn't make sense to me. But excluding the What's Up Highlighter, I really like this too. The Hula Bronzer and the California Blush. Super love them. And, ayan o, 
magihit pa na yata ako sa Hula Bronzer because I use this every day. Compared to other Benefit products, this is only 1,300 pesos. So you get to try three products from Benefit for just the price of one. So it's amazing. I think it's a good deal. Kung gusto mong magtry ng Benefit complexion products, then maybe you can start with this one. The next one is also an Althea Korea product. This is the Sunrise and Moonrise na eye palette. So, big itsura niya. If you've watched my Valentine's Day makeup look, ginamit ko siya doon. So, totoo lang, hindi ganun kataas yung expectation ko sa palette na to. Pero, nagbulat talaga ako nung ginamit ko siya. It's such a nice palette to work with. Ang ganda ng pigment, tapos ang lalaki ng pan size. I really, really enjoy this product as well. Now, on to another eye palette. This is the Wet n Wild Rosé in the Air palette. Ito naman yung itsura niya. Ayan siya. This palette, this is the one that I brought to Cebu and super love this. You can do a lot with the colors. And very inexpensive, 349 pesos lang siya sa Wet n Wild counters. Sulit. Sobrang sulit din yung palette na to. Still with the eyes, gustong gusto ko din tong mga spotlight eye glitters from Althea Korea. So I have the pink one and the gold one. Ito yung itsura nila. So pwede mo silang ilagay dito or dito sa my aegisol. I just love how they give you like a youthful or very Korean look. You might wanna check them out. For my eyebrows naman, I really like the Sonny's face. Light brow, ito yung gel, and yung pencil. So, ito siya, yung pencil very skinny as you can see. Let me just show you. Kaya gustong gusto ko siya. And yung gel naman niya really keeps your hairs or your brow hairs in place. Pag apply mo pa lang sa kanya, it sets na agad. So, wala kang problema sa kanya. So, I love that one as well. Lastly, for my favorites category, this is the EB Advanced Lip Defined Mathematic Lipstick. And I got the shade Raw Burgundy. Ito yung itsura niya. Para siyang chubby crayon. And yung shade naman niya is like this. Ganyan siya. And there's just something about the formula that I could not get on board with at first. Parang medyo drying siya ng konti. But if I want to go bold, I would put this all over my lips and it would give me a really nice red-brown lip color. So that's quite the list of favorites for this quarter. Now, pumunta naman tayo dun sa mga not-so-favorites. They did not work for me for some reason or another and I will explain that as we go along. Hindi naman siya ganun karami, but let's get started. For skincare, first one would be the Nivea Micellar Skin Breathe. This is the Acne Clear variant. On a previous video, pinakita ko na to and I said there na medyo conflicted pa ako sa thoughts ko about it. But I recently got around trying this again. You guys know this on my last video, parang may mga rush ako dito sa side ng face ko. And also bumps here and there. I think this is the reason for that. Kasi bukod dito, wala naman akong binago sa skincare routine that time. I still wanted to give it a shot and to like really test it out kung ito ba yun. As you can see, nagamit ko siya ng madaming beses. Nakakalahati ako. So, I can safely say that that's really the reason. Because every time I would use this, I would notice bumps on my face and that does not happen with my Garnier Micellar Water. So, Ayun, hindi lang talaga siya nag-work for me. I have already stopped using this and I can already notice na nawawala na yung mga bumps sa skin ko. And then, next skincare na hindi nag-work sa akin is from Althea Korea. This is the Pore Purifying Serum Cleanser. Ito, okay din to pantagal ng makeup. This one is oil-based. The reason I did not like this is because it stings my eyes and I have very sensitive eyes kaya hindi ko siya nagustuhan. I tried this siguro twice. After that, hindi ko na siya ginamit. I prefer my cellar water when taking off my makeup or parang cleansing balm kasi parang mas okay yung feeling eh, mas gentle kaysa dito na medyo may hap deep sa mata. So, ayun. And hindi ko rin ganun kagusto talaga yung mga serum cleansers. So, Maybe that's the reason I did not like it. Another one that I did not like from Althea Korea is the Skin Relief 
fat gel film. This is supposed to be a product na nilalagay mo on top of your blemishes. For example, meron kang pimple, nilalagay mo siya dyan para when you put makeup, it's not gonna show up or it's gonna create like a secured layer or parang protective film against it para hindi siya ma-irritate. Yun yung pagkakaintindi ko sa kanya. So I tried it once and oh my god. It was such a disaster. At first, okay siya eh. Pero after a while, I did not notice that it started looking like glue. Alam niyo yung kapag natuyo yung glue, tapos parang nagbabalat na ewan. Ganun yung itsura niya, guys. And when I went to the office, someone noticed that I have something here and also here. And hindi pa ako nananalamin. So, hindi ko alam ko ano yung tinutukoy niya. But when I checked my face after that, oh my god. Meron ako parang glue dito na natuyo and here guys, I was so embarrassed kasi the whole time yata na bumibiyahay ako papuntang work, I had that and I did not even notice. After that traumatizing incident, I don't plan on using this again. We're down to the last two items and both of them are makeup. The first one being the Sony's face. Glow Boss Highlighter in the shade Hey Girl. I know that it's supposed to be subtle. I get that. So, hindi siya ganun ka blingy. But even as a subtle highlight, I just don't think that it's worth it. Kasi puro lang siya talaga glitters. Merong konting pigment and then glitters na kumakalat. I think this would be good on your body kapag summer. Like, ilalagay mo siya dito sa Declotage. Ang ganda niya siguro. Pero on the face, no, no, I just don't like this. Now, on to the last product dito sa list na to. I also did not like the Essence Rock and Doll Mascara. It is much just like crazy. The, the transfer siya dito sa baba. Even though yung upper lashes ko lang yung nilagyan ko. I know some people who like this, so maybe it would work to some other people, but para sa akin din, hindi siya talaga ng work. I did not like this at all. So that's it for today's video. Those are all my favorites and my not so favorites for the first quarter of the year. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please click the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please don't forget to follow me on my Instagram at mycity underscore. And I'll see you guys on the next one. May you all have clear skin and happy hearts. 